Okay, y'all are um, clawed your way up to sixth uh, with six consecutive home games upcoming. Are y'all in a good spot going into this final key stretch, do you think? I think uh, I think morale-wise and, and how we're feeling, we're feeling pretty confident that we're back home for the next uh, six games. It was uh, sure, surely a long week for us being out. Uh, tiresome, I think, for the most part. But uh, I think we're all glad to be home, and now we can focus on these six games and hopefully, uh, I mean, in my mind, if, 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 as long as we get maybe five, five out of six wins, uh, it'll be a good push to, towards the playoffs. So, yeah, that'd be a huge amount of points. So hopefully that can happen, and I think that's what we're set on right now. What's the, uh, I mean, the scoring has kind of dropped off a little bit. Teams are, are packing in a little bit against Sean. What's the number one thing you can work on to try to, uh, you know, break the other teams down? What's the key? Yeah, I think uh, you, you go through the season, and I think every team, you, you, you've probably at least played one, uh, every team once. So these uh, these teams have uh, Miguel, Yosef, Tito, they have them pretty studied down to the, to, to the, to the max. So it's, it's hard for those guys to, to really break out their individual capabilities when teams have already, uh, they, they know what they offer to the table. So I think that... Uh, as a team, I think we have to start uh, finding a game plan for all of us and, and and not rely so much on the individual capabilities that we have. So, uh, you know, when, when things aren't going our way during the game, we have to have some sort of game plan. And I think that's what we that was what we mistake. Uh, that was our mistake in these last two games. I think we focused on too much having, uh, you know, Yosef and, and, and Miguel back at 100%. And uh, I think that, that maybe that was a a bit of a downfall for us. I think we have to start making a game plan for all of us, the whole entire team, and, and, not, and as I said, not rely so much on the individual capabilities. Um, the the ball that you crossed in for the tying goal, uh, it struck me that it was a little bit of karma yeah, because everybody good. thought that ball was going out of bounds, much like the DC United, the build up to that DC United goal. Everybody thought that the save was going to go out of bounds. Is it just how the breaks happen during a season? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I think that was a, a big relief, not only for myself but for the team, since it had been a long week for us. I think we were in the final minutes thinking we didn't go, we didn't want to go home with uh, the longest face we've had all season. So, uh, you know, I think that 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 goal was, for us was very important. I'm glad Ty got in, and uh, you know, I, I think he had he had actually been doing very well the whole entire season. Maybe maybe uh, was not a bit concentrated in one of the games, but I mean that that happens. That happens during during a long stretch of a season. So. Uh, I'm glad he got back in. He's been working hard uh, on and off the field, and, and I'm glad he got back in and, and made a key goal for us. And what is the difficulty in? I'm, I'm working on something for about substitutes for for tomorrow's paper. What is the? Is there a difference in approach between being in the starting eleven and, and being in the 18 and not knowing if you're going to get to play? Uh, I mean, I would say for these next six games, every single person needs to be ready. You're playing uh, every other three days on, on turf, so uh, it's it's. it's the bodies are going to start feeling tired. You're in that you're in that final stretch of the of the, of the season, and you're uh, playing every three every three days. So every guy that uh, has their shirt called, they need to be training uh, as hard as possible and be ready for their for when their name is called. I'm sure Tata has a list of guys that that uh, probably everyone on the team, the 26, 27 players, will be will need to be ready for every one of the, every one of these uh, single games we have in September. Do you know the points on the table? Do you know where y'all are? Uh, yeah, I know we we snuck into sixth because of. Uh, other people not winning. I think we're a couple games behind, so uh, right. we have to take advantage of that. I mean, I, I, me personally, I, I didn't like that we kind of lost that momentum we had going of stopping for about 21 days. Right. So that was, uh, you know, now you have to look ahead, and, and, and even though you're a couple games behind, you still have to make sure you win those games, right? right. You have to keep uh, racking up those points. But I think it was, uh, I think it was good that we racked at least we got a point against Philadelphia. As I said, we didn't want to come back uh, with the longest faces of the season. So uh, I'm glad we did get that point. Now we have to think about uh, the, the next month. It's going to be a tough month for us, and we all have to be ready. What's a realistic seeding that you can reach in the East, do you think? Jeez, uh, in, in, in my head, uh, I mean, I've been playing five years in Mexico. Uh, make the playoffs. Okay. It's a different tournament. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a different league. Yeah. Uh, as long as you make the playoffs, it doesn't matter what happens. Uh, during the season, it, it all starts from zero right then and there. Uh, it doesn't matter if you play home or away. There's, you just have to make game plans of, of how it works. Everyone would love to play home, and when you have a, a, a just one game at home or away, you would always want to be home, but it doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it starts from zero once once everyone makes playoffs. Uh, lastly, for me, I see you still practicing on the grass. So you mentioned the turf and all the games you're going to play on there. 
when do you see the team actually maybe doing, I see the turf field right over here, doing some sessions there or heading down to Mercedes-Benz? Uh, have you thought about all of that? I, Just I, wish, I wish I could tell you. It's, it's something you have to ask uh, Tata and the crew. Uh, that's that. That's something that I'm sure we're, uh, I mean, I've been on it for the past five years. So uh, you know, it's something that you, it, it takes a while to get used to. I, I've had guys come into to Tijuana that, uh, they couldn't adapt, you know. They just couldn't adapt, and they couldn't bring out the best of their game because of uh, because of the turf. It, it's 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 a different ball game, you know. Mm. I think in Tijuana we used it to our advantage because every other team in Mexico came to the turf field already complaining about it, and that's where we used it. We were, I was a champion in, in 2012. We used it to our advantage. We didn't have the best team, but we used the we used the field our home field advantage. Won every every single game, home game. I think we were three years without losing a home game just because of the, the field. So. Uh, you know, it's something that we have to take into to account and, and uh, accountability and, and and know that we have to make it our home base. Uh, I think it will definitely take a couple of days to get used to it. But, uh, you know, as I said, it, it, it's, it's a quick adaptation for all of us. And uh, hopefully we can use it to our best, uh, best ability to get adapted as quickly as possible. That's one for Greg. Good.